Okay, so um, welcome to my uh, little project. Basically, what I'm trying to do is make a fretless guitar. I was I've been told they're quite expensive, so I wanted to see whether I could do it myself. Now, the astute ones amongst you might actually recognise that this has already had most of its frets taken out. That's because my camera decided not to record that. So what I've done is I've put some of the frets back in just to demonstrate how you actually take it out easily at home with basic amounts of tools. Um, first of all, what you'll actually see is um, when the fret is in, some of them are actually glued in place. Um, but the cheaper guitars, a bit like this one here, but we won't show the name that much, um, they're not. Uh, what you do have to worry about is what I've come across here, which I've tried to reduce, but you can't really um, stop it on a rosewood fingerboard like this, and that's chip out, um, but I will cover how to sort that out. Um, okay, so basically what you're going to need is, uh, you're going to need a set, either if you've got some, uh, some fret pullers, then fine, but they're quite expensive, so what I've found is, um, they are basically a uh, set of wire cutters but they're at an angle see where they're flat and that's for basically getting close and underneath um, so basically to minimize as much cut out as you possibly can um, it's best to use just a basic soldering iron just something like this um, if it's knackered and old then probably better because won't do it any good. I've actually got a tiny bit of solder on the end of this just to help with a bit of heat transfer. If you try and do this without, it, it takes too much time. So the principle of what you're going to try and do is you're going to start at one side and you're going to work your way across the fret. It might take a couple of attempts at doing this, but what that does is if there is any glue or um, any shellac or anything like that or any polish or dirt it's going to heat all that up and it's hopefully going to try and melt it and what that does is it just frees up the fret a little bit just put this on the stand here and then if you get your fret pullers and you try your best to get under one side of it without damaging any of the fretboard and just tug it up a little bit and once you've got an edge on it, if you just try and tease it up a little bit, and then it should it should come away. Obviously I've already removed that, but that's the actual principle. Just work your way across as best you can, and try your best not to gouge any of the actual fretboard, but if you do it's not too much of an issue because we'll go into how to fill um, little gaps like this because you will be using a bit of sandpaper to radius off the board afterwards um, obviously same thing with these but as you can see haha I cheated uh, same again I cheated with that one too um, so I will uh, continue trying to do this and in the next part we're going to uh, try and dress this fretboard a little bit uh, get rid of some of the rough edges and then basically try and put some veneers in here down each of the frets so I'll show you how to clean these out um, what I'm going to try and do in this video is there's a lot of people that try and do this on bases and stuff like that who do it um, with you know specialized luthier tools and stuff like that what I'm going to try and do throughout this is do it with stuff that you'd have lying around the house um, because like the name of my channel I don't like to pay for anything uh, I've been paying for about, playing for about 20 years playing the guitar uh, I built a few, but all with frets, but I wanted to see whether we could do this possible, so I'm going to try and document it from start to finish. If you are going to do it, I suggest that you try and do it on something cheap. I got this for about 20 quid off eBay, and look, it still even had the label on it. <laughs> um, and then we'll try and document it straight across, so try and join me in the next part of the video.